The Pedagogicada project is all about understanding how we can harness um, social media to tell us useful information about um, flooding in the city of Jakarta, Indonesia. The approach that we've taken is to tap into Indonesians' love of social media. So Jakarta also has one of the highest user rates of the social media network Twitter anywhere in the world. And so what we've done this year is we've collaborated with Twitter and with the Emergency Management Agency in Jakarta to build a platform that invites users on Twitter to confirm when they're experiencing flooding. We've got the emerging issue of mega cities around the world with more and more people moving to these increasingly uh, dense and densely populated areas in these big cities. But we're also facing some really extreme challenges of things like climate change and population and infrastructure provision in those settlements. One of the problems with all of those people living in that city that experiences these rainfall events and experiences this flooding is gathering data about where that flooding is happening in real time and trying to understand why it's happening and where it's happening. So we've got a map of Jakarta, all of the neighbourhoods in Jakarta, and we can see the river network on top of that at the same time. And then what we see as flooding happens is those neighbourhoods start to light up. So they go from green, so there's not much Twitter activity about flooding, through to red where people are talking lots about flooding and then sending us reports to confirm, to say, yes, Pedro Jakarta, flooding is happening. And then what that allows you to do is then drill down to the data and you can see those individual reports on the map in real time. And you can see some fantastic photos that people sent us as well saying, yes, look at the flooding, it's, it's already at waist height. Now that we've got this data and that we've got the maps um, of, of how many people were talking about flooding during the monsoon season, we can compare that to official reports from the government and also our knowledge of the infrastructure network to really understand, oh, like how many people does it take to tweet before you know that a flood's happening? Like, or are people just commenting on the flood that's happening in the neighbourhood next to them? It's not like a lot of other projects that we see during disasters worldwide where people are just maybe passively monitoring uh, what's going on. So as well as doing that, it allows us to communicate directly with those people and say, can you confirm, can you send us a picture? And so that obviously is invaluable information for the government. But then by aggregating that data together across the map, which is the data that you can download, you can see kind of you get these hotspots of like, oh, that's where flooding's happening. Or that's, is, is that where flooding's happening? Maybe uh, we should investigate that further. The benefits to those people using that data are really to allow anyone to test ideas about how social media can be a source of really valuable information, both to citizens and to the government during um, some emergency event. So the, the data that we've collected on how many people have been tweeting about uh, flooding um, in different districts in the city, and also the data about the hydrological uh, infrastructure network, so that the way the water moves to the city that we've been gathering as part of the project. And that's been quite successful because it's allowed us to share data with the Jakarta government um, and with other partners and institutions both in Indonesia and in Australia and worldwide. Open data is really paramount because it allows us to share um, the information and the knowledge that we've gathered with uh, a wide variety of people and to really be open with both members of the public and the government about what data we're collecting uh, and how we're using it and, and why we want to do that. And so the, it's, it's really satisfying when someone says, well, what, why are you collecting this data and what are you doing it with it? Being able to show them, well, this is the map, anyone can see it's online. And look, and here's the data that we collected this year that's behind that map and anyone can download it.